This is Carl Dannerberger, and I'm out here at the Ohio Turfgrass Foundation Research and Education Center, located on the Ohio State University campus. And I'm standing, as you can tell, that I'm, I'm quite cold. It's about five degrees Fahrenheit at the moment. It's uh, fourth week of January, and a question that often comes up is, uh, how cold tolerant are turf grasses? Well, for both warm season and cool season, grasses, December and January is as hardy as, as uh, these plants are going to get. So right now, they're the maximum cold hardy of the season. Now that'll change once they begin to break hardiness probably in uh, uh, probably in about three weeks, late winter, early, early spring. But right now, for the cool season grasses, these temperatures uh, probably have no effect on them, especially the creepy bent grass, uh, Kentucky bluegrass, and to some extent the fescues. Now perennial ryegrass and annual bluegrass are not as cold hardy as uh, the other cool season grasses, but they still should be, at this time, pretty hardy and I wouldn't expect uh, any problems with them. Um, to my left, or to your right, you can see a little browner turf here. And this is Bermuda grass. And as previously mentioned, is that even with warm season grasses, this is the hardiest they'll be to low temperature. Now their tolerance isn't as great. And uh, uh, these temperatures right now can have a negative effect on Bermuda grass. So the, the question comes up too is, how, do, how can you avoid some of these stresses? Well. What's critical is the temperature of the plant around the crown. It doesn't matter what the air temperature is, it's more important the soil temperature. So, so one way plants avoid uh, cold is that they're in contact with the soil or the crown's located down within it. And so the soil temperature is probably not as cold as the air temperature. And then in other situations, although we don't have it right now, snow cover is another way of protecting turf grass plants from extremely cold temperatures.